Welcome back. Throwing parties can uh, be a little stressful, not just for you and your wallet, but for the planet. But guess what? It doesn't have to be that way. A bit of smart planning can help you cut down on waste and save some money, all while being kind to the environment. So here with tips for a zero waste party is Candace Batista. Okay. You look so good. Thank you. Thank so, you so much. The holidays fun, but also huge impact on the planet, and not the, we're not talking about good impact here. Unfortunately not. Expect at this time of year, the average Canadian family is wasting 25 to 45% more waste than other times of the year. Yikes. And that comes from a number of different things. Wrapping paper, ribbons, bows, plastic plates, plastic mm -hmm. cups, all of the accoutrement that comes with celebrating the holidays. I think a lot of us want to do better, so totally. we're going to talk a little bit about how you can cut cut back, starting with decor. Well, use nature. I mean, nature yeah. provides so much. So here I've done something very, very simple. All of the lavender comes from my garden. Mahabi harvests this for me every single year. I use it for Keep parties, that man. right? And I also use so it beautiful. for DIY. Like if I'm giving a gift, it's really cute to wrap it up and just make it look a little bit of yeah. pretty. I've also added some cedar and the scent between the cedar and the lavender is quite beautiful when you mm -hmm. sit down. Here I've reused tequila bottles. Again, Mahabi is a tequila aficionado. Don't oh, judge. Nice. But we have so much tequila at home. And I love every bottle. And they're yeah. so pretty. These are nice and heavy. You can put candles in here. You can use these for water. And literally everything on this table is thrifted. For the little name Beautiful. tags, I spray painted some pine cones yeah. and use those. You can use these on your tree. You can also use them for place settings. So nature provides an abundance of fun. So many great ideas to make your table look pretty. And I love that you use these year after year. Year after they year. They might be nature. They might be an Expensive, they might be all natural, but why not store them and use them exactly. again and again and again? Exactly. Then we're wasting less. Exactly. Let's talk about the cups, the plates, the silverware, the napkins. What are we doing to cut back a little bit on waste? Huge waste, right, uh -huh. when it comes to that. And also just think about how much money you're spending on all of those things, yes. right? So I say use what you have. Mm -hmm. Get out all your old dishes, get out all your knives and forks. Typically, we have a ton of stuff. Most of us have more stuff than we need, Absolutely. especially when it comes to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. If you're having more of a formal do, you can always think about renting or borrowing. We're really seeing a shift towards the borrow culture, yes. which I love. And a lot of the times you can go on places like Facebook uh, of Marketplace yeah, yeah, and yeah. people are giving things away for free. So mm -hmm. with things like cutlery, plates, mix and match. And I always serve glass at my home. When it, you'll never drink wine or anything out of a glass. Sorry, out, out of, of a plastic. plastic. Glass is great. And I also noticed that people are more likely to refill their glass instead of getting a new one every time they get a new drink. Yes. It's kind of a, an interesting kind of social experiment that I've noticed. Um, people And people also, it's so much nicer to drink a glass of, you know, Chardonnay or Pinot out of a glass as opposed yes. to a plastic cup, right? This stuff can be thrifted, and I think maybe 100%. we feel the weight of it, and you know, like, don't just leave it on the side table yes. and go get another yes. one. Like, 100%. use this one and go fill it up again exactly. and again and again. Exactly, and thrifting is fantastic. Almost everything on this set is yeah. thrifted. Oh, Yeah, incredible. literally almost everything. That yeah. is amazing, because <laughs> uh, I'm loving those plates. Thank you. <laughs> okay, this, to me, is so gorgeous. It's a hydration station. Exactly. This is the one thing that you can do to really get rid of plastic bottles. Yeah. If you've ever cleaned up after a party, you know you're picking up plastic bottles all over the place that are half empty, mm -hmm. two or three sips out of them. It drives me crazy. It's a biggest pet peeve. That's actually thrift as well from an antique market. Beautiful. It's just got water in it. I've infused it with three different types of uh, infusion. So we've got yeah. strawberries and berries, lemon and cucumber. You can literally do anything. They're so easy to fill up through the evening, like mm -hmm. super easy. And honestly, people love this. When people come to yes. my home, I do this for every single party. It's always a conversation piece. This is Always. really, uh, to me, it's interesting. It also solves the question of where's your water. Exactly. People come to my house and they say, where's the, your water? And I'm like, in the faucet. Exactly. <laughs> you turn on the faucet <laughs> and water comes out. Because so many people are like into the plastic water bottles. We don't do so that true. in my house. Oh. So, so this is this would make me feel less embarrassed. <laughs> and think of how much money you don't have you to would go save. to the faucet, go right? to the hydration station. And sometimes we forget about water, and then you're kind of running around yes. all a jug and glasses. And this way, it's done, it's set I love up. Love it. And sometimes people even notice that it's it's empty, and they'll go and fill it up for you. Oh, those are good friends. Um, those are good yeah, friends. Yeah, and those so are the ones you want at your house. Easy, easy, easy. To, exactly. Go refill it yourself. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Um, let's talk food waste. 
Oh, food waste is so huge. Yes. We know that when we put food into a garbage can, it creates methane gas when it gets mm -hmm. to landfill as it breaks down. Methane gas is about 25% more potent than CO2, so we want to keep food out of the garbage. So I always set up a garbage station. So yeah. first thing, a recycling bin. It's very, very clear. You know that your glass bottles and your metal cans are going to go in there, Got right? It's so super easy. And then I set up a wash station as well. So I tell people when they get here, if you have a dirty plate, just scrape your food off into the compost bin yeah. and then put your dirty, dirty plates into a bin like this. And then you just bring this into the house mm -hmm. and stack your dishwasher. It's really, really easy. The biggest tip is to make sure that your dishwasher is completely empty yes. before the party starts. So that at the end of the party, you're just putting all of your glasses, cutlery and everything right into the dishwasher yeah. and voila, you're good to go. People I love, love that. this. It's also a conversation piece. It is and it makes things more interactive. It and does. I think that that's important that you're not just, you know, sitting there by yourself. Like this gives you an opportunity to get up and do things. I thought you were going to say you get them to wash their own dishes. It's well, like, no, that's no, no. next. <laughs> <laughs> Your tips are fantastic, and this is a beautiful party. So I'd much. go to any of your Thank parties. You. You're welcome.